in his master's life, we were kind of turning a corner. We are getting into some of the physics, uh, what I call Adamus physics, because I'm sure it wouldn't necessarily agree with a lot of the physics or science on the planet right now, but we're getting into a lot of the physics of reality. And for those of you who are not particularly technically minded, those of you who don't really take a liking to physics, actually, this is excellent for you because you're going to be more open to it as we redefine physics. But what we're really doing is shifting perspectives, freeing you from what would just be the science of, of physical gravity and beginning to understand that these forces, even the forces of time and space, are simply sensualities. You can dive into them, experience them, have them serve you. No longer an outside force, but all coming from the inside. And these are all sensualities, not necessarily science ways to experience. And for the Master, you allow them to serve you. You're not the slave of time or space anymore. You allow it to serve you. And yes, your human will still continue to have experiences in gravity, time, and space. But you also expand. You've got linear time and circular time. You have defined space, no space, and also malleable, flexible space, all at the same time. And letting energy serve you, because it's all yours. You don't need more energy in your life, not at all. We're changing perspective. We are beginning to understand real illusions, real illusions. But I, I like to make up words. Uh, you might not have noticed. Uh, the human language is so thin, uh, anemic with words. Uh, well, I guess there's not been a need to define a lot of things up until now, but it's a real illusion. It's real for that being experiencing it, but it's actually all an illusion. Carl was going through an epiphany right about now. Uh, probably a, a minute or so left before uh, he would no longer be able to breathe naturally. He had what I call a, a, an epiphany uh, of crisis. Forced by the crisis that he was in, he had to let go. He had to open up to something else. He had nothing left. All, all the fight, uh, all the struggle to get out of this quicksand uh, was doing nothing for him. So he had to quickly shift into something else. <laughs> 